Meanwhile, Mexico's a failed state, 30 plus thousand deaths, total bedlam, kidnappings exploding all over the Southwest. Oh, that's not an issue. No, no problem. Uh, not a problem. Uh, just be scared of Al Qaeda everywhere. All right, let's continue with your calls. Todd, Travis, Pamela, Mark, Leo, Andrew, Renee, Shady. We'll get to all of you. Uh, Todd in New York. Sorry, the phone cut out on you earlier. You're on the air. Hi, Alex. Can you hear me right now? I can hear you now. Go ahead, evil one. All right. All right. I got a basic question here about Donald Trump. Do you think he will run as an independent, split the ticket, the Republican Party, and siphon off a lot of votes from whoever the Republican nomination nominee is? Yes. Just like Ross Perot did. I think more and more and he's going to deliver the victory to Obama. I think that that is in the cards, whether consciously or unconsciously. He's a big Democrat, big supporter of gun grabbers like Chucky e. Schumer. Uh, more than two-thirds of his donations go to Democrats. Washington Times had a report on that. Uh, he is uh, pro-socialist health care, so he'll make a great Republican. Uh, he is uh, pro-eminent domain, stealing all ladies' houses. Uh, he tells people, I'll steal the oil for you, as if these guys became billionaires by giving you what your, your tax money pays to go steal the oil, but then you don't get it. And so I trust Donald Trump about as far as I could throw him. But some of the uh, low IQ people out there, they think it's kind of sexy that he's strong and he's tough. And if we just had somebody who was tough, America would come back. The globalists are tough. They're outrageous. Who would imagine that they would break Americans' will to stick their hands down everybody's pants and, 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 and grab the genitals of Miss America because she might be Al-Qaeda. And, you know, they, and the TSA are obviously a bunch of fat pedophiles half the time. I mean, this is all going on. So it's all about breaking our will, training us we're slaves. And and the sky's the limit. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. One other thing, Alex, I just wanted to say to all the info warriors out there, get your bumper stickers on. Get your bumper That's stickers right. on. That's right. Every book or video order that comes through InfoWars or Prison Planet gets a free citizen rule book, Declaration of Independence, Constitution, Bill of Rights, Founding Father quotes, jury nullification documents, and some uh, bumper stickers. Thank you so much, Todd. Appreciate you holding there. Uh, we got time for another one, or should I go to break and come back with more? Randy in California, you're on the air. Yes, hi, Alex. I had a uh, good potential venue tip to pass along for new anti-New World Order activism. Um, our local activist group here in Fresno recently rented a table at the local gun show about two weeks ago, two weekends ago, and it was a great success. We handed out materials from architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth, and about 300 InfoWars DVDs. Uh, we reached a lot of people, and it was pretty easy to do. It was only $75, and we made that up in donations very easily. Uh, a lot of people thanked us for, for doing that. And I want to pass it along to all the InfoWarriors that this is really not that difficult, and it can reach a lot of people. Well, Randy, that's a great idea. Plus, the government sells this idea that they take our money at gunpoint, and then use it back against us politically, or they take the state's money and send it back with strings attached politically to social engineer. But somehow it's dirty, it's bad if your liberty-oriented group writes a book, makes a film, or sells books and videos to make money. Good, that's what it's all about. We need money. You need money. Spread the word. Capitalize systems so that we have money to fight the war, to build the platform. If, if, if we hadn't made money over the years and reinvested it in our operation, wh where would we be today? I mean, uh, I'm not even that big, though we reach millions a day compared to some outfits. The point is we're the biggest thing in the liberty movement there is. And, and so thank goodness you supported us by buying the books and videos because we've been able to build all this and then help other people have a platform to build their operations. More calls straight ahead. Stay with us. Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. I am here live coming to you from the studios in Austin, Texas, blasting out on XM. Oh, man, over 80 a.m. and f.m. radio stations. Number one uh, on the internet with the podcast and the live streams, InfoWars.com. You have found at the front lines of the Info War, where the left and right are nothing but controlled boxes they use to play us off against each other. We're talking about right and wrong, liberty versus tyranny. And we're identifying not the front men of Obama and Bush and McCain and Mitt Romney, but the actual illegitimate hijackers of our society, the private Federal Reserve and its member banks. 
Now, let me hit a smattering of headlines here, and then I'll give you some financial news, then back to Travis, Pamela, Mark, Leo, Andrew, Renee, and Shady. I'll at least get to those, those calls. I, I really want to hear from you. But um, in the Safe Food uh, Act they tried to pass last year, it – and by the way, in a one-week period, they got it in the House, but not through the Senate. They're going to try again now. $17 million, the Washington Post reported, was given in one week – by, you guessed it, Tyson Chicken, ConAgra, all the big mega farming operations and food production groups to go after the small family farms and ranches with regulations and bureaucracy so they'll just shut their doors. And the IRS has gotten through, uh, gotten rid of the hobby farm write-offs where it's got to make money or you can't write it off, but you're like, well, I just supplement to pay the property tax. Sorry, not our problem. It's all about driving you off the land. This is the set policy. But in there, there was a line about implementing the UN's Codex Alimentarius. Now, that's the international free trade agreement that governments sign on to that bans over-the-counter fish oil, vitamin C, uh, St. John Wards, everything. Meanwhile, all the big companies are racing to now patent it themselves once it's made illegal uh, for uh, over-the-counter. Then they can come and get it for uh, prescription. And they're, they're coming out with fish oil, vitamin C that's government approved. Same thing, or they'll change a little carbon atom on it or you know, a carbon structure in the molecule. Herbal medicines banned as EU directive comes into force. And it says hundreds and hundreds, they're all banned. That's the end of it. But it says you can go license... And pay thousands for what cost dollars before. They're not playing games. And they're trying to do that here. That's why they've got all these new cops now raiding health food stores and, and, and having news cameras with guns and acting like it's dirty. And the average epi's like, fine, shut down. Shut down the, the, the local vitamin area. If they have officers, they must be dirty. Why, that man was selling silver coins. He's, a, he, he's evil, too. Those Amish, those dirty Amish selling, uh, selling uh, the, the, you know, evil milk. Of course, the Amish are very upright, very law-abiding, very good. The point is, they sell it that they're bad. It's all psyop. So I thought I'd raise that for you. Um, continuing here, I remember a couple years ago, I told the crew this. We couldn't find it online, but like 12 years ago, they had naked body scanners that give you the ultimate fit uh, whenever you went to these elite stores in New York, but nobody would do it, so it went away. Turns out the very same companies are the ones that then got churred off, who's on the board of one of them, to, to buy billions of dollars of them and then uh, try to make you go through them. But then if you won't, they grope you, but now they do both. Uh, and, and I have it there out of the examiner, radiation-emitting airport scanners now being used in clothing stores, video airport scanners, uh, rescue shoppers from fitting rooms. Oh, you get the ultimate fit. I thought this was bad. CNN was, and I saw this a few years ago, the FBI said we may want checkpoints at malls. But now it was on the news. Oh, yes, the people want it. Like you want a bowl of uh, cyanide or Jim Jones Kool-Aid. Yeah, or you want to jump off a cliff or be hit by a truck. It's, everybody wants it. And, oh, everyone wants it. They want scanners to be safe at the malls. Folks, just randomly, Al-Qaeda's going to hit them all. Al-Qaeda's going to hit this. Oh, they could be on a highway. Set up a random checkpoint there. They could be in a cornfield. Why, well, they could be anywhere. we just got to have the government take all our rights everywhere. We've got to be safe. It's all about making you the prisoner. This whole grid is for us as the banks bring us into a, de a major depression and implode the entire society. But, but let me just play this short clip in case you think I'm joking. Here they are going, it's so wonderful, body scanners, which then just acclimate us all to be put through these. And all these top doctors are on record admitting high levels of radiation. Here it is. Ellen in the morning. Oh. Come into a mall near you, an airport-style scanner that will tell you your size, store to store. I mean, it's such a waste of time, right, when you're taking the wrong size. Oh, it's so fun. In the changing room because it varies brand to brand, especially for women. Look at the happy so lady. The scanner called My Best Fit will give uh, you a printout that uh, you can just walk around with. It's oh free, uh, and it'll give your measurements for about 50 different stores. Ooh. Works for the men, too. 
I like the idea. By the way, what it really is is a secondary market. They get your biometric scan, not just your hand or your face, but they have radio wave systems the government's put out years ago in testing grounds all over the country, hooked up with cameras that look through your clothes. Now they have the biometric measurement of your body to then track you even when you're wearing a disguise. And that's one of the other functions of this. And I uh, told folks this 12 years ago. Now it was mainstream news last month that they're actually saving biometric data just like they take your baby's blood at birth uh, for uh, now almost 40 years and didn't tell you until two years ago. It's all part of how criminal they are. And the federal government with mandates puts radioactive isotopes in your drinking water, not just uh, sodium fluoride. But see, you're unable to get mad because it's the government. Oh, the government admits they run al-Qaeda, and then they admit they're hanging out at the Pentagon, and they admit that they're putting uranium in the water. Oh, just look it up. Uh, Texas covered up radiation in drinking water. Just look it up. All over the country, but happened to get busted here. Nobody got in trouble. They're still doing it. Just, and, and there was no discussion of how to get there, why is it there, but side issue. Um, and again, I'm the extremist for being concerned about this. I'm the bad man. Now, getting into financial news, I cannot describe to you the magnitude of what this means. Uh, CNS News reporting, uh, also the Associated Press reporting. Uh, U.S. Treasury, China has decreased its holdings of U.S. debt. Well, they announced it months ago. We don't need the Treasury. I remember a few years ago they were asking uh, Perino uh, before Bush left office, is it true the dollar's being devalued is why gas prices are going up? She says, I can't comment on that. And the White House isn't, it doesn't have a statement on that. Like, we need them to tell us why gas prices went up then and are now going up even more now. And they're now saying $7 a gallon by next year. They're blaming it on speculators. Uh, mainland China has decreased its holdings in U.S. Treasury securities since last October, going to report updated today by the U.S. Treasury Department. But don't worry, the Treasury will just buy more of its own debt, and then the private Federal Reserve will get the interest on it that they make up out of nothing. Pretty good if you can get it. Pretty good business, huh?